Khabib spoke about the fight against Israel Adesanya. Former UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov, disagrees with his manager Ali Abdelaziz, who recently said that his protagonist could easily beat Israel Adesanya and take away his UFC middleweight title. No, I don't agree with that because I'm not going to fight at middleweight, and I'm not going to fight Israel Adesanya, the undefeated Russian fighter told reporters in Las Vegas. Now is his time, and I am not going to claim his greatness. People talk about it, but I didn't say that I could smash it. I don't agree with that. Israel Adesanya estimated the likelihood of a fight with Kamzat Chimaev. Reigning UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya, who is set to defend his title this weekend against Jared Kananya, has spoken out about a potential fight with rising welterweight star Kamzat Chimaev, who plans to become champion in at least two weight divisions. I like the way Kamzat Chimaev fought Gilbert Burns, Adesanya said in an interview with TSN. I then said to myself, great, this guy has a heart, he has a fire in him. To be honest, I don't think he can beat Kamara I'm not even sure he can beat a guy like Leon Edwards, and even Vicente Luque will have problems. But if he can get past these guys and become a champion in some of the parallel universes, then defend the title a couple of times, and wants to fight me, I will welcome this fight. I like it because the guy is what they call the big money fight. I hate calling lighter weight guys, but that's not a challenge either. And by the way, he fought at middleweight, plus it's a big money fight, so yeah, I love it. Daniel Cormier admits to cheating five years later. Five years after the controversial towel stunt at the UFC 210 way, INS, former UFC double champion Daniel Cormier has publicly admitted to cheating to keep his title in the light heavyweight division. Guys, I want to confess something to you, because I feel that now is the time to be as honest as possible," Cormier said at the UFC Hall of Famer induction ceremony in Las Vegas. I was holding onto that towel in Buffalo, Indiana 2017, thanks to a towel, Daniel Cormier lost more than one pound in two minutes to retain the title, and then successfully defended the championship belt against Anthony Johnson, who finished by rear naked choke in the second round. I came back off stage 1.2 pounds overweight and my trainer said to me, DC, do you remember the old wrestling towel trick? Do you understand the level of ridiculousness required for this to work? But everything worked out for me, and I could not believe my luck. Even when I lost, the belt miraculously came back to me. What can I say, I'm lucky. Rumble, if anything, I'm sorry, bro. Note that the incident with Cormier forced the New York State Athletic Commission to amend the regulations to prohibit fighters from contacting anything other than scales during the way in procedure. Sean O'Malley ready to fight Petter Yang. In the event of a victory over Pedro Munoz, the popular American fighter Sean O'Malley will be ready to share the octagon with the former UFC bantamweight champion, Petter Yang, who cannot yet find an opponent. I'm a couple of wins away from a title fight, especially if I get them early," O'Malley said in an interview ahead of UFC 276. People want to see me as a champion. To do this, I need to go out and do what I can. First, I have to turn off Pedro's light, and then I could deal with a little Russian dude who runs around and yells that no one wants to fight him. If he doesn't work out, there's also Rob Font, but he lost a few times, so it's not the best option. We have a crazy division but a lot of guys are busy right now so we just have to wait and see how all these fights go over the next few months.